Hi Stampers, this is Nancy Novak from StampAndShout.com and today I want to show you how I made my sailboat card using the Swirly Bird stamp set and the Swirly Scribbles framelits. So let's get started. First thing I did was um, I cut out the base piece of paper out of Whisper White with it, which is three and three quarters by five inches and the mat piece is four inches by five and a quarter and when we get all, all done it'll go on your standard card piece and the way I did it was I took a scrap piece of paper now I said this is five inches and so you want your scrap piece of paper to be at least five inches wide and to make the waves I took the swirly bird stamp uh, let's see which one I took I took this one right here and I used a Pacific Pacific point and I just started stamping on my scrap sheet of paper pretty easy so far isn't it I think you're gonna be surprised at how easy this really is okay got that part done and then I stamped my little sailboat and all these pieces are right in the stamp set so I did the base of the boat in chocolate no I did it in baked brown sugar so I'm just using up this piece of scrap paper for all the little pieces all the little parts that I need and then I used real red that one there and then the striped piece right here It's nice you can see through these stamps so you can place your stamp wherever you'd like it and then there's a little teeny tiny flag and I used Pacific Point for that I also made one in yellow so there you go you can see right through it So the sailboat's done and for my card when I made the Sun I had some designer series paper that was yellow and white and that's what I used but that's a retired paper so I want to show you how you can do it using Daffodil Delight so I used the big stamp stamped it like that and then I'm going to use my framelit and we're going to cut that out the way I did the sailboat was I just fussy cut it real easy and when I fussy cut I leave a little bit of a white border just because you can never cut it exact so if you leave a little bit of the white border it just looks like that's the way it's supposed to be so I just fussy cut that out and these paper snips are great for doing this fine work I love them they're very sharp gotta be careful with them I've jabbed myself several times so that's it so we'll use that in a minute and I'm gonna bring my big shot in and I already have it all set up so there you go I've got my framelit for the water there and my framelit for the Sun there and I'm just going to shoot it through the big shot I get the big shot out of the way so there we go we got those pieces then you can bring your little scrubby brush in. 
this comes off pretty easy. You really don't need the scrubby brush too much for this, but it helps, it makes it come off easy and even faster. Oops. There we go. Let me get this out of the way. I was going to have this all done before this part all done so I could just attach it, but it's good for you to see how I did it. It's very simple. Isn't that cool? I just love it. Love it, love it. Okay, let's get the sun out. You're going to be surprised when you see the sun. There we go. There's my sun. Cute. Let me clear this away so you can see everything. Okay, all we need to do now is attach our pieces. And what I did was I used my uh, Tombow glue and I just added little dots of glue on the back everywhere. Like I said, you want this to be at least five inches wide. If it's a little bit over, that's good because then you can just trim it. So you're just going to add some glue all along. Make sure you get it at the edges. That's an important spot. That looks pretty good. Kind of smear it a little bit. Okay, I'm going to flip that over and attach it to our card base. My hands are sticky. Same thing for the sun, Tombow glue on the back. Isn't this easy? My hands get a little sticky, but that's okay. I love Tombow glue though, because it gives you a little bit of play. Put our sun up there, so pretty. I love this stamp set. Then we take our little sailboat. Position him or her, whatever it is. Right there. Uh oh. Got a little bit of glue. My hands are sticky. And then we're going to attach this to, I'm going to flip this over, attach this to the blue base. I'm going to use snail for that. And while I'm doing that, I wanted to explain to you, whoever doesn't know, if you're interested in stamping up products, you need a stamping up demonstrator or a stampin' up rep to be able to purchase the items. So you go on, you go to my website, which is www.stampandshout.com and I have a shop now button and you click that and that's where you would go to start shopping and um, you enter the item numbers that you want but if you're new to it you can always email me or call me and I would love to help you out because I'm sure you're not going to know what you're doing the first time so give me a call give me a call as many times as you want and we can go through it and figure it out together there you go isn't that cool and then we'll attach that to our card base. I think my glue might be a little bit wet. Attach that to our card base. Make sure you're putting it on the right way. Don't want our card opening backwards. And that's it. You can put whatever sentiment you would like on there. And what I did I love this stamp set. This is Thoughtful Banners. You got all these words and these banners and it coordinates with this great punch. And let's see, I will show you really quick what I did. And again, they're clear stamps, so they line up really well. So let's see, I put in Happy Father's Day. I think I'll take a piece of scrap paper right here. I'll do it in red, real red. And bring out my banner stamp. Oh, I got ink all over my fingers on this one. Oops, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to stamp it near the bottom because it'll be easier to punch out. OK, 
Okay, so there's the banner, perfect. And then if you can see on here, I attached the words Father's Day, which is one of the stamps in the set. So I'm gonna stamp that in the ink. And you can even move them so they curve, which I should have curved this just a little bit, but it'll work. So Father's Day, cool. And then, happy. So I got another little stamp here that says happy. Can you see through there and see it says happy? Ink that up. You can see right where I want to stamp it. Perfect. And then the fun part, the punch. I love these punches. Just line it in there. You can push it down a little bit to hold it to make sure it's where you want it. Position it. Give it a good push. And there you have it. There's your pretty little punch. You could put it up on dimensionals if you like. Anyway, I hope you liked my video. Come back and see me again. Subscribe. You'll be the first to know whenever I post a new video. And remember to contact me with any questions. www.stampandshout.com Thank you. Bye-bye.